This is called an open letter to the nice guys. She writes, in my lived experience, there have been two categories of nice guys. The genuinely kind, sensitive, gentle men to whom I often find myself attracted, like my current boyfriend. So she's not really uh, one of them overt feminists out there hating men. Shout out to your awesomeness, she says. And the sort of creepy, what uh, comes to this community? The creepy. Creepy, obsessive ones who continually self-proclaim that they are genuinely kind, sensitive gentlemen. Think of Elliot Rogers, who had the audacity to call himself the supreme gentleman. But yet still he was at a party once where he's trying to push these girls off a cliff. And the, the guys caught him and pushed him off instead. She goes, this one goes out to the ladder. And the ones who complain, they're the creepy obsessive ones. Real genuine dudes, they don't even come to this community. They're out there dating girls, you know, having relationships. They're the guys that get married, uh, have a nice little wife, have a little daughter or a son. Those are the normal guys. Not the creepy, fucked up ones that end up on the internet. So she goes, this one goes out to the ladder. The ones who whine about the friend zone. That's what they do. If you, you're one of those people who whine about the friend zone, you are one of them. The ones who tweet about how girls are all, always go for the assholes. The ones who complain that nice guys finish last. To the ones who constantly wonder why female friends don't want to date them. It's because of what's inside of you, fellas. You're fucked up inside. You're twisted inside. You gotta unfuck yourself. Recognize that the males that that need help are the ones that are, are truly messed up inside. And I applaud you if you're seeking help and trying to fix yourself. I've been there myself. I didn't do it myself. I had nobody to teach me how to correct the fucked up shit in me. I got bad programming at a young age living in Japan from anime. And it was the old fashioned anime where the men were men, but the men were always shy. Okay, that's the programming that I got from it, being shy. She continues, because here's the thing. Nice guys, we don't, we do not date you because you're nice. We do not date you because you're not enough of an asshole for us to feel challenged. We don't regulate you to the, sorry, yeah, Relegate you to the friend zone because we're teases or because we're bitches. Are you guys listening to me? And you guys know who you are. I talk to you every day. Listen. And certainly not because we're sluts. Look at my video of those two girls. How many of those creepy nice guys come in there and call them sluts? How many of them hate th that video of... Uh, Nice guys finish last. Look how they hate that. Look at all the comments I, I used to read coming from those two videos. These are the males that she's talking about. You, they're on the internet. They're on YouTube. They're on, as you said, Twitter, tweeting about how women are, are evil. Look where they, what groups they end up in. I'm going to leave the groups nameless, but you know who I'm talking about. I hope they listen to this. Now listen again. It's not that we don't know what we're missing or that we can't see how great you are. It's not that you, you're not an amazing person for us to have in our lives or because you have some gut-wrenching physical deformity. Nope. Listen now. Don't be mad. Don't get emotional. Don't get like weak men. Actually, it's kind of hard for these guys to do because they already are weak men. She says, we don't date you because we're not attracted to you. How hard is that to understand? 
She writes, but wait, you nice guys say. I have everything he has and more. We hang out every single day. So obviously you think I'm, I'm some kind of awesome. And I've asked you if you think I'm hideous and you said no. So you think I'm cool? I think you're cool. You think I'm not entirely grotesque? I think you're hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. I don't understand the problem. Let's date. Or at least bang. Oh. Superficial motherfuckers. No depth, no character, no bosh. She writes, okay, hold on. Let me try this again. <clears throat> We're not attracted to you. Read it for yourselves. Yep. Read it for yourselves. Most of them will probably click off my video by now. But if you're one of them and you're still left, there's hope for you. She writes, call it pheromones or call it having a type. Yeah, have a type. Maybe they can understand that. She goes, call it coincidence or call it luck. She's trying to get her point across. She knows you guys are hard-headed and dumb as fuck. So she's tried all these other things. Maybe you'll accept something. We cannot force ourselves to be sexually or romantically attracted to you if we're just not attracted to you. No matter how awesome you are, no matter how funny you are, no matter how good you are to us, remember these guys will rub their feet. Now she likes nice guys. She's one of the, or she likes a normal guy. I call them normal guys. Normal guys are decent people. <clears throat> they're not out there trying to play. They just want a girlfriend. Someone they can fall in love with. Have kids with. Normal, normal dudes. They don't come to the internet. They're too busy dating. Most of them. So she said, no matter how good you are to us, the creepy ones will try to pay for love. They'll try to do things. Wash their car, rub their feet, sit and listen to their stories about guys like me. Because the majority of women are not like this. From the moment we laid eyes on you, we thought, this guy could be a cool friend. But I don't want to bone him. But, okay, are you reading this? You're a cool friend. You become uncool when you get ugly about it. Despite all the stories you heard of guys who generally got them drunk and they had sex and the girl felt guilty about it the next day, that rarely happens. So quit dreaming. Wake up, go spend your time with someone who actually likes you. You're the one with the crush. That means you're the one with the problem. It's you. You have the problem. She writes, are you attracted to every female friend that you have? Do you want to fuck every girl that you know? Yeah, actually I do, but yeah, that's me. Don't you too relegate people to the friend zone based on whether or not you're attracted to them? Now these guys are always superficial. If she's hot, they want to bang them. If she's fat and ugly, they put them in friend zone. Because they have no attraction. Never mind that she's fat and ugly. Let's get across that. Basically, they have no attraction. And they can't understand that a woman can feel the same way. Because their mind's fucked up. If you're one of them, your mind's fucked up. You can't grasp it. She cannot, she cannot feel that way. That she can be a human being and feel the same way that you would feel about a fat chick. Continuing... Aren't there some women in your life whom you you look and think, she's attractive, but I'm not attracted to her. 
I don't know about those guys. If you're one of them, let me know if you ever have those kind of thoughts. I, I, I'm thinking you guys are too superficial for that. She continues, why is this a sentiment that is a okay for men? I just asked that question. <clears throat> but not for women. How come when we hang out as just friends and then reject you when you make a move on us, we're somehow leading you on? Because we weren't interested and made you aware of that fact in the first place. Why aren't you allowed to pick and choose who you'd want to sleep with, but we're supposed to fall all over you the second you hold a door open for us or pay for dinner? Mm-hmm. Ugh. You nice guys say. But what am I doing wrong? <clears throat> <coughs> Every girl I'm ever interested in rejects me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> there must be something wrong with all of them. Because I'm just so nice. And they must not want to date nice guys. Or else they date me. <clears throat> Normal guys are nice. <clears throat> okay. But they're not that, that creepy, obsessive type. They're not online whining about women. <coughs> <coughs> They're too busy dating. Yes. She writes, so you're assuming that we don't date nice guys. Because here's a newsflash for you. We date plenty of nice guys. Real nice guys. Genuine nice guys. Normal guys. <coughs> Most people are decent people. It's you creepy motherfuckers, obsessive motherfuckers that are not normal. Okay? That's why you form these weird subset groups. Guys who are so nice that they don't feel the need to flaunt their niceness around all the time. You yeah, know? Because they're nice. Haven't you noticed a trend, nice guy? The only constant in these rejection situation is you. Duh. Do you think someone who's like that would, would ever make that correlation? Hmm. I wonder. If you're one of them, try to make an adult comment and let me know. Would you ever make that correlation? That the constant, re the constant in that rejection uh, situation is you? She writes, have you ever stopped to think that maybe? Gasp. <gasps> <laughs> you, nice guy, are the problem? Hmm. Hmm. I'll bet you the comments that I get will be the old women-hating comments. They won't get it. That's how fucked up their minds are. They can't accept the truth. They live in a blue pill world. They have not taken no red pill. They live in a blue pill world, and they'll go back to, to feminism or whatever else supports their anger and their frustration. They will not wake up and recognize the problem is really them. Their egos will not allow that. Their ego has them running around like a monkey. Has total control over them. She writes, because here's the thing. In my experience, a lot of nice guys who complain about finishing last are creepy as fuck. Yes. Let me read that again. She writes in her experience, a lot of, quote, quote, nice guys who complain about finishing last are creepy as fuck. They're running around telling everyone about how nice they are, but in reality, they're obsessive. Yeah, you're so nice. 
when you stalk me or when you repeatedly tell me that I'm beautiful despite my explicitly expressing that it makes me uncomfortable. Do you think these guys will take a lesson from this and back engineer themselves? No. They'll sit in their groups and make videos about it. They'll come attack this girl, make a video about her. Continuing. And it's so nice when you tell me that you think about me when you masturbate or when you text me just to tell me you like what I'm wearing. And it's so fucking nice, she's being condescending, when you threaten to cut yourself cut yourself if I don't date you. Those are weak men also. A man doesn't cut himself. That's the things that women do. Or when you take out a dinner or a dance and then actually have the nerve to express your distaste that I didn't kiss you afterwards. All things that have happened to me by men who claim to be nice guys who are sick of the friend zone. Yeah. Real nice. Do you think they'll take a clue, fellas? Guys like this? No. They won't. Watch. Watch the comments on this video. Watch how they don't get it. They still won't get it. Again, they'll resort to the whole feminism thing. They'll say, you know, feminists are evil. I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't agree with feminists either. But they'll use something to hold on to their, as a crutch, hold on to their way of life. They refuse to change. Unfortunately, mommy and daddy raised a creepy little child. Continuing. Because again, in my experience, part of what has come to be known as nice guy syndrome includes an awkward and sometimes frightening obsessive approach to wooing. That's dating. That's seduction she's talking about. Whereby these nice guys act like proverbial doormats. They are oftentimes rather desperate, if not completely and utterly pathetic. And they offer no challenge whatsoever, intellectually, spiritually, or otherwise. She forgot to mention they have no substance. Their only strength is to hide behind their whole feeling like they're a nice guy. So they can feel justified. When they're not really nice guys. That's what gets me. I've said that before. They're only being nice to girls because they want to bone them. They think they're hot. They're so beautiful. All they want to do is fuck them. That's why they're being nice. When that doesn't work, women are evil. Something went wrong in these people's upbringing. Maybe mommy gave them too many cookies when they were upset. Continuing, this leaves strong, smart women like myself to wonder, why would I want a partner who bends at my every need and agrees to my every thought? Again, these guys have no sexual confidence either. And my other book, they don't know how to become real men. You see what this woman is saying. What did she say earlier? Huh? Look up here. Wrong approach to wooing. They act like doormats. In my book, my new book, I tell you all the behaviors of not to have. Oftentimes rather desperate, if not utterly pathetic. What man has come across pathetic except these types of guys? And they're not even challenging. She goes, why would I want every thought? Because a lot of these self-proclaimed nice guys are actually yes men. I talk about not eliciting happy faces from your females all the time. From your women. In my new book. Here it is right here. And there is nothing attractive about being waited upon. When you become someone's number one priority, and not just anyone's number one priority, but a man who you aren't dating, it's more scary than flattering. 
Do you hear that and understand? You're scaring them. If all you nice guy can talk about is how much you love someone, someone you're, you're not even dating, that's what I don't get. That is the weirdest thing. These guys, they fall in love. They don't even know the girl. She could pick her nose at home and flick the boogers all over the place for all they know. She could be a total slob. But they're so in love. Do you guys understand how sick that is? You're not in love. You're infatuated. I learned that when I, in my first year of college. We had a um, communication professor come around. He talked about that. You're not in love. You're just infatuated. You're obsessed. That's not love. That's not true love. Do you know how creepy that is to women now? No, they don't. That's why they still do it. Will they listen to me? No. Again, they're stuck in blue pill land. They will not listen to this big, fat, black guy on the internet with a bad attitude from dealing with them for 14 fucking years. Like, see them last one year in my job. They'll be batshit crazy. Continuing, and then maybe it's time to check yourself and get a hobby. I've told you that. Do you guys see everything I've taught in her words? I told you I'm the real thing from the real world. I back engineered dating. Women got very damn good at it. So I give you the real truth. She continues, but that's uh, relatively socially unacceptable and creepy. Now, don't get me wrong, it sucks, sucks to be rejected, she says. We've all been there. We've all had our hearts broken by friends in whom we were interested, who took no interest in us, and that's fine. Be sad. Feel heartache. But frustration? Rage? The single moment of thought when this comic actually makes some sense to you? And there's a comic here. Let's take a look at that. Derp, you're the coolest big bro ever. Friend zone. Shit, I just got friend zone. Damn it, this must not go on. Look at his face. Power level 9,000. I will not just be your talking buddy. Even more rage. The super cosmic, ultra galactic, fuck a friend zone, fist attack. Whoa. Oh my God, Derp. What are you doing? This is, is against friend zone protocol. And he's, you know, trying to rape her. Yeah. Again, think of the little geek. The shut up San Diego, Elliot Rogers. Who is nothing but a, but a corpse in a box right now. Because all he wanted was blondes. Pretend to be friend, nice guy, supreme gentleman. No, supreme creep. There, there are males right now that agree with this. Because they're frustrated. Because mama didn't give them coping skills. Mama didn't teach them how to be men and cope. She writes, that's when your nice guy facade, that's all it really is, facade is shattered. Because here's the thing. My nice guy pals, by virtue of being your friend, I do not owe you romantic or sexual access to me. So please take your entitlement elsewhere because getting pissed about being my friend means that you don't deserve my friendship. Melissa A. Fabello. Italiano, huh? Read it. I'll put the link in the description. 
Hopefully, if we can save just one of these creepy motherfuckers from that path, we'd have done a good thing. Just one. I'm hoping for just one. Am I hoping too high, fellas? Just maybe one of them will see the light now? That it's them? They're the problem? Not women out there. It's you. You're the problem. What I've been trying to yell for 14 fucking years now. You're the problem. I never had a problem. I'm a black man in America. I dated white chicks, Latinas, 